Shavuotov. This week we start reading a new Chumash, the third book of the five books of Moses, Chumash Vayikra. We often assume that Vayikra is all about sacrifices, all about the priests, all about what goes on in the temple. The Latin name Leviticus, even the rabbinic name Torah Kohanim, the laws of the priests, seems to underline this idea. But in fact, if we look inside the Sefer, we find that although the first few chapters are dedicated to the laws of sacrifices, then we go on to a whole range of other topics. There's the laws of purity and impurity. There's the laws of kashrut. Later on, there's the laws of the various Jewish festivals. There's the laws of the sabbatical year, the jubilee year, how to buy and sell land in the land of Israel. Right in the middle of the book, chapter 19, sometimes called the Holiness Code, opening with the words, Kadoshim Tihiyu, this is how you should be holy, contains mitzvot which cover every aspect of life, how we deal with each other, how we deal with God, laws from the kitchen to the workplace, from the boardroom to the bedroom. And in the middle of that chapter is the commandment, Kamocha, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. This is not a law about sacrifices, and nor are most of the laws in Sefer Vayikra. What these laws are about, in different ways, are Kedusha, holiness. The book of Vayikra is not just about what goes on inside the tabernacle. It's about how the Kedusha, which is found in the tabernacle, then emanates outwards into every aspect of our lives, if we keep the laws that God prescribes. The book is called Torah Kanim, the laws of the priests, not because it just refers to the priests, but because it are the laws that enable us to become truly a Mamlechet Kohanim, the Goy Kadosh, a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Shabbat Shalom.